Boys, so this guy was just out enjoying a little bit of time away. I was playing uh, some footy and it was pouring, man. It's lightning pouring and probably shouldn't have been playing. All right, don't play when it's lightning. Uh, but I think we have some tropical storm happening. I don't know, man. The weather is always crazy. And I think there's a tropical storm about to happen like overnight, if not already happening. It's been lightning bolts and everything all day. And you know what, guys? We actually had a scheduled video going up. Uh, at this time with the guaranteed packs today and that's getting pushed to this morning because Apparently there's in they've done the upgrades. They've done all the upgrades. They usually do these on Friday So I was gonna do them with cover these with the content video tomorrow uh, Now I have no internet. What is going on with this guys? I have no internet. Why do I have no internet? I have no internet. What are you talking about? I have to up I have to do this YouTube video. How do I have internet? Oh, I fell out of my computer guys. All right, hold on All right guys, it's back. I'm back. I'm back. We have internet. We're good. Okay. Um, anyways, internet in the PS, the reason I'm having the computer is because the ethernet fell out, right? I was changing around some things that fell out. But anyways, we're going to take a look at some of these cards, guys. Talk about them. We're also going to look at the end of this at some of the heroes in FIFA 22. Just a little discussion video, man. I don't actually post that many videos off stream anymore. Um, but yeah, this is going to be one. And to those of you guys that are still playing FIFA, hey, man, join me. I, I am not playing a lot of FIFA, but I'm playing... And uh, I'm here. So, you know what, guys? We're going to take a look at these. So, if you enjoy the video tonight, drop a thumbs up, guys. The support at this time of the... Oh, my God. Okuna is 98. Okay, hold on a second, guys. These are some crazy upgrades. So, obviously, they were double overdue. So, EA went ahead and just upgraded a lot of them like crazy. Now, the reason my face cam is a little bit larger is because we're really just looking at the cards. And, uh, yeah, all right. Maybe, maybe, maybe we'll make it a little bit... There, perfect. So 1.2 million is what I paid for Acuna. I don't even know if he's getting panic sold or not, but my oh my, does this guy look crazy? Now, he was down at 108 earlier today. I bought him on Wednesday. Uh, if they win the final, he gets the five-star, five-star upgrade. But guys, look at this, man. 98 Acuna. I mean, this is just crazy. This is just such a crazy card. I mean, I know we're at the stage of the game where a lot of cards are crazy, but 99 dribbling, 99 composure. He's got one, I mean, he's got at least 10 99 stats. You got the 99 aggression. I mean, this guy looks incredible about anywhere in the pitch. He's got so many 99 stats that, you know, if, if Argentina actually win, I'm not going to hear the end of it with people telling me because of the high high and the 5-5 five five that they're going to be playing him as a cam. I've already heard that today in my stream about people potentially using that with Florenzi. So, man, Acuna is looking mad. We've got Paredes, who's still the 4-4, but Paredes now has all 90 stats. Every single card, stat on his card is 90 plus. That's... You know, he's got a couple in-game stats with the jumping, the heading accuracy, the finishing that are under, you know, obviously that 90 point. But every other stat and the agility is 86, but look, and penalties. But yeah, man, mostly 90 plus for this guy. Uh, so that card is looking crazy. I really want to see Millie Tao. Yeah, so this guy and Ramos, in my opinion, are undisputably the best center backs in this game now. Uh, there's no arguing. He was already insane and not EA gave him another two pace. He's got 90 dribbling, which is just mad. And if you look at it in games, I mean, his... Fullback meta, who? Like what? 99 aggression, 99 stamina with 92 strength. Uh, great dribbling, great passing. Pretty much everything that you would want in a center back is what Militao is here to offer us. So, GG's, man. I bought this guy knowing that Brazil had a really good chance to win Copa. And I rode it the whole way. I picked him up at 410k. And he is... I mean, he's a million. He's a million. But let me tell you something. He's going to be insane, man. The way this guy plays in-game... It's going to be incredible. So if you want to get your hands on that card, get your hands on that card. Guys, we did Jack Grealish's SBC for content, right? And if it does actually come home, Jack Grealish is going to be insane. He's going to be five-star, five-star with those stats, with 99 dribbling. I mean, it's going to be crazy if he actually, if, if, if football actually does come home. Jack Grealish is going to be one of the best players in this game with the 5-star, five 5-star, five the 99 acceleration, the 99 agility with the 98 balance, the 99 ball control, the 99 dribbling, uh, the 98 composure. I mean, what a freaking card, guys. 98 short passing even. And I was using this guy. Uh, I played with 21 games with him. I actually liked him a lot. I thought his physicality was really nice. He's going to be incredible center mid slash, you know, if you're playing with two two DMs, right? You play a three three center mid formation. He's a great center mid, man. That's where I was using him, and it's that extra attacker makes those runs is really nice. Um, guys, GG's if you grinded Erickson, man, and and we hope for Erickson's health that he's doing okay. It seems like he's doing a lot better, and he was a weekly objective, and he actually got a plus two, which is great, man. He actually got a plus two, guys. So we've got a Christian Erickson now that you know still has that five star weak foot, and he got a pretty nice upgrade. He was a ninety one. And, uh, yeah, dribbling is in the 90s. I mean, it's a nice card. It is a really nice card. He's got long shot taker. Finishing, you know, still a little bit low, but the long shot's really nice. Shot power, really good. Uh, strength, really good. So, you know, it's a good-looking card. 
Um, let me see what else I have in my club, guys. Uh, that I, you know, that, let me see. Let's see what we got here. So this is, uh, what what team is this? Oh, do they have 5-5? Five, five? <sighs> oh, I'm moist. I am moist, guys. 492K is what we pay for Verratti. And Verratti is now, he is 1.2 million coins. 1.1. He is a 98 rated with medium high work rates. EA have given him over 80 strength. His interceptions is 97. His agility is 99. His balance is 99. His reactions is 96. His ball control is 90. I mean, how many 99s does this guy have? One acceleration, attack positioning two, volleys three, penalties four, vision five, short passing six, long passing seven, dribbling eight, composure nine. I mean, wow, this guy has like 13 or 14 or 15 99 stats. And he's got them in so many important areas. Agility, balance, check. Ball control, dribbling, composure, check. Stamina, aggression, check. Attack positioning, acceleration. Boom. Short passing, long passing, vision. I mean, he's a, he has 99 passing, right? When you have, when you have the vision, the short passing, and the long passing. Nice, Nick, with your headphones. Um, for me, that, that, makes it, that makes it 99. And guys, I, I don't want to just... You know, I don't want to be that guy that's going to come here and flex on you guys, but I'm going to be that guy. If you did Florenzi, GG to you. This guy's SBC was how many coins? Okay, how many coins? Now, based on Verratti's price, this guy is at least a mil in the market. And I say that because something that's going to still turn people off from using Verratti is that he's a DM with those work rates with that strength, right? Just because of the work rates, it's going to turn a couple people off if they don't want to play him as a DM. But... He's still amazing. And what is really great about Florenzi is that because he's high-high, you can really play him at right mid, left mid, um, CDM, center mid. I've even seen people on my stream saying Cam today. And let's check this out. So he was a 94. He's a 95 now. Every stat is above 90. I think they were before. Nine, uh, maybe one was less. 95 pace with 94 dribbling, 94 defending, 93 physical, 92 passing, and 91 shooting. Um, Five-star, five-star. You know, looking great. Finishing is only 83, but the long shots, the volleys are really high. The dribbling is amazing. The strength is a little bit more than Verratti's got. This is such a good card. Um, I'm going to be using Spanish players for the weekend league. I may only use Spanish players for the 15 wins. Obviously, you guys know it's 15 wins, so I may get my 15 wins. And if I play more, I will... And, and by the way, it was really nice to have that weekend league extension. I hope EA does that more, man, because I definitely play more. You guys saw it today on my main channel, uh, main upload today we actually got elite this weekend um so i mean for me it's like if once we get that 15 wins with the spanish team you know we're probably going to switch it up and go use some of these crazy festivals to give you guys you know some quick information maybe by the end of the weekend on how some of these guys really are in game um and then obviously by saturday and sunday with that's that's the copa and that is also the um the copa and the euro final so we'll know a little bit more about kind of what we got going on um i do want to take a look real quick guys at my club for a second. Now, today I picked up a couple cards. I bought a couple of Laports, a couple of Modric's, and I think I bought like 10 Calvin Phillips's. I don't even know if I got them at like the great prices. I just picked them up kind of like I did last week and then never sold the festival. So I'll probably lose coins. But it's that time of the year where we're kind of messing around a little bit with, you know, when we can, we're buying a couple of cards. So Chilwell is now a 97, and that is crazy. High, high for Chilwell. And yeah, I mean, if, if football comes home, again, that's like a Ferland Mendy festival football. Uh, Summer star, summer heat card because he's gonna have five star, five star, and gosh, is that nice to have on a fullback? So that is a crazy looking card to me as well. I think Ben Chilwell is looking excellent in this game. Uh, the Lake is still a 96. I'm just looking at what I have in my club. Oh, Murata's got a 95 now, and that's actually really nice. Four star, four star uh, agility, balance is actually okay. 96 strength as well. We may actually use Murata in weekend league, guys. I may actually use him. I know it's crazy, right? But Looks really usable, man, to be honest. Like, he really does look usable. I mean, obviously, six foot three is going to make him not feel the best. But, uh, yeah, I think he'd still be pretty usable. Um, I think that's pretty much it for the upgrades that I have in my club. I mean, you know, what if with Felix? What if with, uh, you know, a little bit more of Thorgan Hazard? Now, we have a couple on the market that uh, I think at least one or two that we haven't looked at. And that's going to be the Brazilian. So, first of all, we've got Vini. And Vini is going to be potentially nuts. Let's see how Vini's looking. So Vini is now... Vini is 5.4 mil. So he's up like 800k. And Vini is a 97 with 5-star skills and a 4-star weak foot. And if Brazil wins Copa, he's going to be 5-star, five 5-star. Five with so many 99 stats. 
I mean, this guy is just going to be insane. So we, we are going to wait to try Vinny until the result of Copa and give you guys really the verdict on what happens, right? So Because if he gets the 5-5, five five, you know, you guys are going to want to really see how he is. So that card looks pretty crazy. Um, let's check out... Oh, man, Llorente, guys. Let's check out Llorente real quick. So Llorente was already, in my opinion, like one of the best right backs, if not the best in the game. And, oh, my God, high, high as well. So, that is crazy, man. I'll tell you this, chat, and, and people watch the video, I always say chat, but if this guy actually, if Spain actually won, and this guy got 5-5 five, five at some point, I mean, this would have been the craziest card in this game. If that was even possible. I don't even know if, I don't think that was possible, actually. But, I'm just saying for, like, for the wor the wor the sake of it, that this would be the craziest guy in the game, man. 5-5 five, five for this guy, just nuts, man. He'd be out of this world. But still, crazy card, 99 short passing. 99 long passing, 96 strength, 99 ball control, uh, 90 agility with 98 composure. What a freaking card. We've also got Phil Foden, who's out, out there on the market as a 98, guys. Damn, a 98. And he's 1.4, so he's actually down a bit. Uh, and he was at, like, I think he was at, like, 1.7. I want to say after the game, when football was football came home for a little bit, uh, he was, like, 1.57 or something, man. I don't even know. He was a lot higher than this, but... Yeah, 98 for Foden now. Um, he's got 99 finishing. Crazy card. The dribbling is nuts. Passing is maxed out. What I love about EA with this, these cards is that they gave a lot of boosts in really good categories, right? Like finishing, agility balance. There's so many good stat boosts in like necessary areas for the way the game plays this year, which is really nice to have. So that I'm very happy about. And then obviously... I think we have a, uh, a, a another 99. I think this is our fourth 99 of the year, guys. And that's going to be Bobby Firmino. So Bobby Firmino is a 99. He's the fourth one of the year. And uh, he's like 2.5 mil, 2.4 mil. He's really good, by the way, too. I played him last weekend. Really good. And he was a 97, I think. So five-star skills. Obviously waiting for that five-star week for the Brazil win at all. And so many good 99s in good areas, right? 99 attack positioning. 98 shot power, um, 99 curve, 99 ball control, 99 composure. The thing on Bobby that's so nice is that his dribbling is nice combined with his strength, right? And that's what makes Firmino so good. That combination he offers is just incredible. So crazy upgrades, um, crazy, crazy upgrades, guys. These are nuts. All of these are nuts. And then obviously we've got, you know, some big games this weekend to really decide what happens, right? That's really what we're all waiting on. So if you guys are playing Weekend League or, you know, whenever you've seen this video, good luck. Um, I'm definitely going to try to cop that 15 wins. Get that done probably by Sunday morning. And then maybe get to try out a little bit of a different team. Don't really know what kind of team I'm going to make yet. That's obviously really up in the air. Um, you know, we've, we've been kind of looking at the club a little bit. Obviously, because we can use eight players. Uh, today, if you guys saw again in my video, I keep plugging the main channel video today, but so much happened in it. We did pack Laporte. Uh, so we are going to be able to use Laporte, which is really good. So we're going to use La Laporte and Ramos at the back. That's two players. We may use Murata. Javi Martinez, I think we are going to use. Iniesta, we are definitely going to use. Uh, Raul, we may use. Danny Olmo. So Danny Olmo, Iniesta, Javi Martinez, two center backs. Um, I'm going to probably use the Spanish keeper to make it six. And then, you know, besides that, not too sure where else to go with the team. The three guys that we may use that are, you know, not going to be, quote unquote, Spanish are going to probably be icons that I have. Um... But let me see what else we have in the Spain department of things, guys. That I do want to see real quick. Um, I can't even spell on flipping, guys. I, I, I was hoping that that screen wasn't showing, and that screen was showing, which is embarrassing me. Um, but we'll probably pick up Urente. I'll probably buy him before I go to sleep. Um, and we might use Xavi. Xavi and Iniesta. That's probably realistically what I could see myself doing. But who knows, right? Not too sure. But I think that's probably what we would do. And uh, I like when EA does these, man. I like these weekend leagues with the Span uh, Spanish, the, the nations. I like it, man. I think it's fun. A lot of people don't like it. But what I like about this is that 15 wins is not 22. Like last week, it was 22. That's way harder to get that last pick than 15. Um, same thing with the, you know, even if you're more of a casual, you're not as good at the game. The difference between 12 and 16 is also a lot. So the second one is even 12 and now it's not 16. So that's the video for today, guys. Tonight, rather. We can have another video going up in like probably six to eight hours after this one. So a lot of content being pumped at the time of the year. Love you guys. See you guys later. Peace.